PBS finally had their first interview with this year's Green Party presidential nominee, Dr. Jill Stein. It was great, except they cut out the most important parts. A huge portion of Jill's response to the last question was cut from PBS's TV broadcast and YouTube channel. Here's Jill's full response to Judy Garland's last question with everything that PBS cut out marked with red subtitles. You've made it clear you think both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump would be terrible presidents for the country. So are you saying you think literally that Hillary Clinton is every bit as bad for the country as Donald Trump? I wouldn't there's say no there are no differences, but the differences are not enough to save your job because Hillary Clinton, you know, and now her uh, transition director, Ken Salazar, you know, they're big proponents of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is basically NAFTA on steroids. And uh, most observers believe that it will send our jobs overseas, as well as undermine American sovereignty by bringing in these international tribunals that get to pass judgment on our laws, on our public health protections, on our worker protections. Um, so you can't, you know, we can't count on saving our jobs, saving our lives. One in three Americans now cannot afford health care under Obamacare or saving the planet because Hillary has been a big proponent of fracking, as is Ken Salazar, her transition director. So we feel that in this election, we're not just deciding what kind of a world we're going to have, but whether we're going to have a world or not going forward. And knowing that the majority of Americans is unhappy with these two party choices, this is the time for us to open up. Americans have not only a right to vote, but a right to know who we can vote for. So we're pushing for opening up the debates, and then let's see how the chips fall. Dr. Jill Stein with the Green Party, we thank you. Thank you, Judy. After cutting out all mention of the TPP, all criticism of Hillary Clinton, PBS cut out Jill's eloquent line. Americans have not only a right to vote, but a right to know who we can vote for. Apparently, PBS disagrees. It's common for TV to be cut for time, but where and what they cut shows what the narrative is that they're trying to push. I'm glad PBS live streamed the full interview on Facebook, but Facebook videos do not show up in internet searches. So if anybody searched for the interview, they'd end up watching the censored version. So not only did PBS's TV and YouTube viewers not actually hear what Jill had to say, even worse, they were left with the impression that they actually did. Please complain about it on PBS's Facebook and Twitter and I'd tell you to complain in a comment on PBS's YouTube channel also, but they have disabled comments on nearly all of their videos. I find it especially messed up that even though PBS is publicly funded, they don't allow comments, aka public discussion, on their YouTube videos. But I do, so please leave a comment with your thoughts on this.